Many of you guys know I've taken two months off YouTube and that's because I've I've recently went through some unfortunate events in hospital. Mm -hmm. Many of you guys do know that. But I've taken a break because, you know, health-wise I am not the greatest. Um, YouTube just seems to be taking a lot of energy out of me in terms of my breathing just gets really fucked up. Uh, you know what I'm saying, it's just the stress part, I needed to take a break and I've been focusing on TikTok a lot and I have managed, <laughs> I've managed to gather myself 4.2k in it and you know what that means folks, I'm TikTok famous so in your fucking faces to the ones who said I couldn't make it, in it, in it, <laughs> I'm only joking, I'm only joking, this person will never become TikTok or YouTube famous, let's just admit that. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna tell you guys what happened because I can't just say I went to hospital and not explain. So this is what happened. One day, man was, uh, you know, craving, if you know what I mean. Not, I'm not gonna discuss any more of that subject because you know we've got a, we've got a PG audience here. But anyway, I was about to come back home um, from picking up and my lung collapsed for the second time. Now, many of you guys don't know, but I've had two lung collapses in my life. Two, I had two number four axes in my lung. I've had two drains going into my lung and it's not the most pleasant experience. It's probably the most painful experience I've ever had. Um, but anyway, let's keep talking. <laughs> So basically this is what happened. I went to hospital, I had a lung, a, a chest tube in. I think that's what they call it. chest, chest tube? A chest tube or chest drain. There we go, I'm smart now. But I had one chest drain in for the second time. And honestly the week was just getting shitter and shitter and shitter. So I was there for nearly two weeks. My lung didn't inflate. It was like, it was stuck, it was just not, it's not, it was not working properly anyway. They said I may needed an operation. Oh Christ, I was going through a lot <laughs> when I received that information, I'm not gonna lie. But then it came to a point, right, where they checked my heart as well. Oh Christ, Luke, you knew exactly what you were getting into. <laughs> anyway, they checked my heart. I, my heart is not black, I'll, I'll tell you now, I'm not black hearted. Anyway, um, they checked my heart and they saw that I had an enlarged aorta and he leaky heart valve. And I'm not gonna lie, as soon as that news broke to me, I thought I was gonna die. I legit, no, no, that's everyone's thinking, right? As soon as they have news coming in from a doctor, you think you're gonna die. It, it just happens. But anyway, I received that news and it was not very pleasant for me, let's just be honest. I would hate to have anyone go through the same thing I did because, you know, let's be honest, I wouldn't even wish someone to have a pneumothorax. I wouldn't, I would never wish anybody to have one. No matter how much I dislike them, I would never tell someone, oh, you should have this in hospital all over again. Say things about my ex, but I'm not going to. I mean, that's his fault, isn't it? <laughs> Telling me to go back to the hospital. But anyway, um, yeah, the next thing, and now you're not gonna bloody believe this, right? Like, you go to hospital for like one thing. Well, not for me, motherfuckers. I went for, to hospital for the entire bloody package. Yeah. Oh, fuck, man. I, I had um, tests for Marfan Syndrome. If you don't know what Marfan Syndrome is, it's a pretty fucked up syndrome, and I'm not gonna lie there. It affects your heart, lungs, and nervous system, as well as your connective tissues. Um, it's pretty shit. Unless, and there's no cure for it. And there's no treatment as well, so let's just be honest. People can have some really fucked up genes, can't they? My body 
is not like everybody else's and I'm sure you've noticed. Yeah, I mean, there's a reason why my arms are thin as they are. I mean, I, I keep them covered up because I'm not that confident to show people. I mean, I used to be teased for it. I used to be bullied for having thin arms, thin fingers, you know, all the time. It, I got bullied for it constantly. And then I find out years and years upon the line that it's not actually my fault. Like, the reason why I struggled gaining weight was because of this condition that I did not even know. And the people kept thinking, oh, he's anorexic, he's anorexic, he's doing this, he's doing that because, you know, he doesn't like any weights on him. No, I, honestly, that's why I've been wearing jumpers and wearing a beanie, for example, to hide my hair and stuff because I'm not so confident with it. Because think about it, all these years of, like, all, all this bullying and shit, right, is how it's made me insecure about how I look and everything. I mean, to this day, I still get bullied about how I look. I mean, I get bullied about being in hospital all the time, so let's just be honest. I just couldn't believe the news I heard, and I needed time. I needed time to, you know, fully accept everything that was coming my way. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, do what you want me to do, and if you don't, you don't. I mean, let's be honest, if you don't like this video, don't bloody comment in it. <laughs> I'm, I'm only messing, I'm only messing. Anyway, uh, how do you end these bloody videos? Uh, peace out, I guess. Peace out. I'm not fucking sure what to do. <laughs> peace out.